a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Pentatonix Pentatonix is an American a cappella group from Arlington, Texas, consisting of vocalists Scott Hoying, Mitch Grassi, Kirsten Maldonado, Kevin Olusola and Matt Sally. Avi Kaplan was formerly a member of the group. He was replaced by Sally in 2017. Characterized by their pop style arrangements with vocal harmonies, bass lines, riffing, percussion and beatboxing, they are widely known for their covers, mostly of modern pop works or Christmas songs, sometimes in the form of medleys, along with original material. Pentatonix formed in 2011 and subsequently won the third season of NBC's The Sing Off receiving $200,000 and a recording contract with Sony Music. When Sony's Epic Records dropped the group after the sing-off, the group formed its YouTube channel, distributing its music through Madison Gate Records, a label owned by Sony Pictures. With over 13 million subscribers and 2.7 billion views, Pentatonix's YouTube channel is currently the 50th most subscribed to YouTube channel. The group's video tribute to Daft Punk had received over 250 million views as of mid-2017. Their debut EP Peaks, Volume 1 was released in 2012, followed by their holiday release Peaks Mass the same year, with Pentatonix's third release, Peaks, Volume 2, debuting at number 1 on Billboard's Independent Albums chart, and number 10 on the Billboard 200 in 2013. In May 2014, Pentatonix signed with RCA Records, a flagship label of Sony Music Entertainment. While in the same year, the group released their fourth EP, Peaks, Volume 3, and two full-length studio albums, Peaks, Volumes 1 and 2, a compilation album released in Japan, Korea, and Australia, and their second holiday release, That's Christmas to Me, with the album certified gold by the Recording Industry Association of America. Platinum on December 24, 2014, and double platinum on February 11, 2016, becoming the highest charting holiday albums by a group since 1962, and the fourth best-selling album in the United States in 2014. The following year, Pentatonix released their eponymous album, their first consisting mostly of original material, which debuted atop the US Billboard 200 charge for the first time in their career followed by a third Christmas album, A Pentatonix Christmas, in 2016, and a new EP, Peaks, Volume 4 Classics, the following year. In May 2017, Kaplan announced that he would leave Pentatonix due to his inability to keep up with the touring demands of the group. He left after the completion of the tour in September, and was replaced by Matt Sally the following month. Pentatonix have won three Grammy Awards, they were the first a cappella act to win Best Arrangement, Instrumental or a cappella, doing so in 2015 and 2016, and Best Country Duo slash Group Performance in 2017. Background Pentatonix began with Kirsten, Kirsty, Maldonado, Mitchell, Mitch, Grassi, and Scott Hoying who grew up together and were schoolmates at Martin High School in Arlington, Texas. For a local radio show competition to meet the cast of Glee, they arranged and submitted a trio version of Telephone. Despite losing the competition, their singing sparked attention at their school, and they began performing. Their version of Telephone by Lady Gaga featuring Beyoncé subsequently gained attention on YouTube. Hoying and Maldonado both graduated from Martin High School in 2010, Grassi in 2011. Hoying went off to the University of Southern California to pursue a bachelor's degree in popular music, while Maldonado pursued a musical theater major at the University of Oklahoma, while at USC. Scott Hoying joined an a cappella group called SoCal Vocals. He found out about the sing-off from another member of the group, Ben Bran, and was encouraged to audition for the show. He persuaded Maldonado and Grassi to join him, but Bram suggested having a bass and beatboxer as well. To support the group through a mutual friend, Hoing met Avril, Avi, Kaplan, a highly recognized vocal bass in the a cappella community. Then, the trio found Kevin Olusola on YouTube, where one of his videos in which he was simultaneously beatboxing and playing the cello had gone viral. Olusola was born in Owensboro, Kentucky, 
and graduated pre-med from Yale University. He speaks fluent Mandarin after spending a year studying in China. The group met the day before the auditions, for the third season of the sing-off began. The group successfully auditioned for the show and eventually went on to win the title for 2011. Pentatonix, as suggested by Scott Hoying, is named after the pentatonic scale, a musical scale or mode with five notes per octave representing the five members of the group. They replaced the last letter with an X to make it more appealing. The quintet derives its influences from pop, dubstep, electro, reggae, hip-hop, and classical music. Peaks Volume 1 and P.T. Xmas, 2011-13 Scott Hoying and Kirsty Maldonado dropped out of college in the hopes of winning the sing-off, while Mitch Grassi skipped his high school graduation to audition for the show. After they won, all of the members relocated to Los Angeles in order to pursue a career as recording artists. The main goal of the group was to become the first mainstream a cappella group in recent times. In January 2012, having signed with Sony Pictures' owned label Madison Gate Records, the group began working on their first album with producer Ben Bram. During that six-month period of picking covers and writing originals, Pentatonix released covers of both popular and classic songs on YouTube. In interviews, the members mentioned that it was a way to stay relevant to their audience that enjoyed their work on the sing-off. In addition to gaining new fans, almost all of their covers, including Somebody That I Used To Know by Gautier featuring Kimbra, Gangnam Style by PSY and We Are Young by Fun went viral on YouTube. Their first EP, Peaks, Volume 1, was released on June 26, 2012, charting at number 14 on the US Billboard 200 chart and number 5 on the digital chart. It sold 20,000 copies in its first week of release. The group promoted the album through press appearances on Access Hollywood, VH1 The Buzz, Marie, and local television shows. Pentatonix were also featured on the Chinese version of the sing-off as guests where Kevin showcased his fluency in Mandarin. Pentatonix also embarked on their first national headlining tour in the fall of 2012. The tour was sold out and spanned 30 cities. Opening acts consisted of Alexander Cardinali and SJ Acoustic Music. The group released their Christmas EP, Peaks Mars, on November 13, 2012. The group released their video of an original arrangement of Carol of the Bells. The following day, the group performed on Coca-Cola Red Carpet Live at the 2012 American Music Awards pre-show on November 18, the Hollywood Christmas Parade and the 94.7 The Wave Christmas Concert starring Dave Coz and Kenny Loggins. On December 16, the group was also featured guests on Katie Couric, Home, and Family, The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, and Big D and I. Ryan Seacrest's website named Pentatonix the 2012 Featured Artist of the Year for their expansive growth online in just one year. The Christmas album was re-released on November 19th, 2013 as a deluxe edition containing two additional tracks. One of these, Little Drummer Boy, charted in several Billboard categories including peaking at number 2 on the Streaming Songs chart and number 1 on the Holiday 100 chart, receiving a number of Billboard awards. Peaks Mars reappeared on the Billboard charts again in November 2014, placing number 24 on the Billboard 200 and number 4 on the Holiday charts giving Pentatonix three albums on the Billboard 200 at the same time. On Billboard's 2014 year-end charts, Peaks Masks was number 8 on the Catalog Albums chart and number 119 on the top Billboard 200 Albums chart, with Pentatonix ranked as number 46 on the top Billboard 200 Artists chart. As of December 24, 2014, Peaks Mars has sold 356,000 copies. Peaks Volume 2, 2013-14 The band went on their second national headlining tour from January 24, 2013 to May 11, 2013, and simultaneously wrote additional original material for their second EP, Peaks, Volume 2. The group released the first single, a cover of Maclemore, and Ryan Lewis, Can't Hold Us, on August 20, 2013 which to date has over 66 million views. 
The group also promoted Peaks, Volume 2 on The Ellen DeGeneres Show in November 2013, after the success of The Evolution of Beyoncé, Mashup on YouTube. That week, the band was featured on Around the World with Diane Sawyer, and were named Persons of the Week. The album was released on November 5, 2013 in conjunction with their second album single on YouTube, a medley of Daft Punk songs. The video went viral, garnering more than 10 million views in the first week, and as of December 2016, had nearly 225 million views. The medley was later nominated for and won Best Arrangement, Instrumental or a cappella of the 57th Grammy Awards. Peaks, Volume 2 debuted at number 10 on the Billboard 200, and number 1 on the Independent Charts, selling 31,000 copies in the first week. Pentatonix subsequently re-released a deluxe version of Peaks Mass on November 18, 2013 with two new tracks, Little Drummer Boy, and Go Tell It on the Mountain. Their YouTube video of Little Drummer Boy, released near the end of November, garnered more than 10 million views in the first week and reached number 10 on the iTunes Top Songs charts worldwide. The song both debuted and peaked at number 13 on the Billboard Hot 100 charge for the week ending December 21, 2013. The video has over 98 million views as of December 2016. In May 2014, Pentatonix signed with RCA Records, a flagship label of Sony Music Entertainment. On July 30th, through the new label, the group released their first official album Peaks, Volumes 1 and 2 in Japan, containing all of the songs from their two namesake EPs, and four additional tracks, previously released as singles. It was released in Australia on August 15th and in the Philippines on September 26th. Peaks Volume 3 and That's Christmas to Me, 2014 On August 7, 2014, Pentatonix announced that their third EP Peaks, Volume 3 would be released on September 23, 2014. The EP went up for pre-order on iTunes on August 11, 2014 and included the download of two tracks from the EP, Problem, and La La Latch. Peaks Volume 3 debuted at number 5 on the Billboard 200. The group also revealed on August a second full-length Christmas album, That's Christmas To Me, titled after the title track of the album, an original song that was penned by Pentatonix themselves. The album was released on October 21, 2014, and peaked at number 2 on the Billboard 200, and number 4 on the Billboard Canadian Albums chart. A single from the album, the group's cover of Mary, Did You Know? Both debuted and peaked on the Billboard Hot 100 chart at number 26, at number 7 on Billboard's Adult Contemporary chart, and at number 44 on the Billboard Canadian Hot 100 chart. Another single, That's Christmas to Me, the title track from the album, also peaked at number 8 on the Billboard Adult Contemporary chart. Pentatonix is also the first act to top both the holiday albums and holiday songs charts simultaneously since the Holiday 100 launched as a multi-metric tabulation in December 2011. The album is also the highest charting holiday albums by a group since 1962. During the holiday season, seven songs from That's Christmas, to me charted on Billboard's Holiday Digital Songs chart. On December 10, 2014 That's Christmas To Me was certified gold by the Recording Industry Association of America. On December 24, 2014 the album was certified platinum. By year's end, Billboard reported the album had reached a total of 1.14 million copies sold, becoming the fourth best-selling album of 2014 by any artist of any genre, and was the top-selling holiday album for 2014. On February 11, 2016 the album was certified double platinum. Self-titled album, A Pentatonix Christmas, and Peaks, Volume 4, 2015-2017. In late December, Scott Hoeing stated that for 2015, Pentatonix is transitioning towards original music, a release of a full-length album consisting of only original material as planned. Hoeing also stated, We're at the point in our careers now, where we must go to original music, and we want to go to original music. We have so much to say. And I think it's gonna be quite a journey. 
On August 28, 2015, Pentatonix announced on social media that the group's third full-length album, and first fully original album, which is eponymously titled, will be released on October 16, 2015. On September 4, 2015, Pentatonix released the first single from their upcoming album called, Can't Sleep Love. Then, two weeks later on September 18, 2015, a second version featuring Tink was released online. On October 9, 2015, Pentatonix released their second single, a cover of Jack You and Justin Bieber's, Where Are You Now? The album ended up being released one day early as a surprise gift to their fans. On that same day, Pentatonix released their third single, Sing. The album debuted at number one on the US Billboard 200. In the US, the album started with 98,000 units. On February 8, 2016, the album was certified gold. Their second full-length Christmas album, titled A Pentatonix Christmas, was released on October 21, 2016. It featured two new original songs, Good To Be Bad, and The Christmas Sing Along. It debuted on the Billboard 200 at number 3 with 52,000 albums sold in its first week, and later peaked at number 1. The album also debuted atop the Billboard Holiday Albums chart, their second number 1 on the chart after That's Christmas To Me. Their fifth EP, Peaks, Volume 4 Classics, was released on April 7, 2017. It marked a departure from the group's typical sound, focusing on covers of standards of rock, blues, country, and older pop music. In May 2017, the band announced in a video that Kaplan was leaving the group following their upcoming tour. This split is amicable and centers on his inability to keep up with the touring demands of the group and deal with the distance from his family. On July 31st, the group released the single Dancing On My Own a cover of the eponymous song by Robin, their first release without Kaplan. Olu Sola performed cello on the song in lieu of a bass vocalist. Kaplan performed his last concert with Pentatonix on September 3, 2017 in Essex Junction, Vermont. On October 13, Hoeing introduced Matt Sally as the group's new bass. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?